Hello and welcome to the Liz Experiment YouTube channel. I'm your host Liz, better known as the Liz in the Liz Experiment, and this is the channel where I record field notes from my journey towards architecting my best life. And this week, the lessons learned I'm going to be talking about are around the need for me to get more intentional, or actually how I'm enjoying how I have been getting more intentional, um, how frustrating it can be to be different, and ultimately my need to go inward and outward and use the resources around me to be better. So with all that, let's jump in. So I don't think that I mentioned in the intro where I am, but if you watched last week, you'll notice that I have a similar, if not the same exact background. So I'm still here in Edgewood, New Mexico. I'm still house sitting for my dear friends. And so far I'm enjoying high, uh, the high desert winter. I know last year when I was here, I was, uh, there was a blizzard and it, the weather was way more harsh. So I'm kind of soaking up. The nights here are really cold, but the days have been pretty sunny and beautiful. So I'm I've been enjoying that with uh, taking care of the pets that I that I get to sit. So what I did mention in the intro were the lessons learned and the things, some of the things that I worked on. So let's get into that. So the first thing that I mentioned was that I was learning about, or I learned how much I enjoyed working on myself and my, my business specifically, and doing that very intentionally. But I also learned how hard that work is. And I think that's why I never did it because it's a lot of effort to really, um, dissect everything in your life and including my work and, and make every choice from a very core or centered place or attempt to, of course, I'm not perfect at that, but that's what I worked on this week. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more that about that in a few minutes. And the second thing that I learned was how hard and difficult and frustrating it is to be different. And I'm not even part of a population that's incredibly marginalized, and I recognize that. So I'm, I'm sensitive with this topic. But I also think that um, by us talking about how we're each different, we become more sensitive and aware of those people who are marginalized and what they must be feeling on an even higher degree. So I talk about that with a level of sensitivity, but I also feel like it's still very important to talk about. And I'll explain how I worked on that frustration in a few, a few minutes as well. And then finally, what I learned was this need that I, it's almost like a craving at this point. I don't know if you guys have ever felt this, but it's this craving to be better. And in order to do that, to go inward and to connect with the answers that I know are already inside of me, but also to admit when I'm not able to do that and to reach outside of me um, to the resources that I have at my disposal, including, I don't know, the internet or other things that I'm lucky enough to have uh, so close at hand. And so how I worked on these things, what did this look like in my life this week? Um, the first thing was, again, how much I'm enjoying being intentional with myself and my business and so this week, this past week was all about getting back into work. And that's, if I was lucky enough and grateful enough to be able to take three weeks off from work. But getting back into that was, of course, very hard. At the same time, it was kind of exciting because as I came back to work after three weeks of, of not doing anything, as far as uh, working or writing or YouTubing, I came back with this refreshed feeling of like, intention and inquisitiveness. And I talked about last week, and I'll provide a link to the show and down in the description area. But I talked about being in survival mode and, and recognizing that and recognizing this need to own my adulthood. And coming back this week, I recognized how much I want to step into the role of successful businesswoman. Um, I noticed, you know, over the past years, I am constantly on phone calls or, or video chats with, with friends or colleagues, and they're asking me business advice. Uh, and I, and I never really sat back and said, you know what, Liz, you have, you know what you're doing. That doesn't mean I know everything. So, so the intention there, when I get intentional, the intention was, 
to come into this week as this successful businesswoman. But the inquisitiveness part of that is to recognize I may be successful, but I don't know everything. And so I was a lot more inquisitive with friends around business or colleagues around business. I also mentioned I want to be more intentional with my travel this year. So I set up a meeting or a call with a friend who's based out of Chile. I'm thinking about spending three months in Chile later this year. And I put together a bunch of questions I had for what I need in a place like good internet um, and safety and all of those, like which neighborhoods I, are good. And I just asked, I just humbled myself and asked. And then all of that was, was really, really wonderful. But it also, the, the wonderful part about it is it's like once you notice these patterns in your life, friends asking for business advice, oh, hey, I've been thinking about South America and Chile lately, and I have a friend there, maybe I should ask her. It's that kind of that whole adage of paving the cow path. You start to recognize there are paths in your life that may already exist that you're just ignoring because you're trying to uh, be great based off what society says great is, as opposed to living your own path. And so I got a, a lot of joy out of being intentional, being inquisitive, noticing the patterns and paving the cow path, or at least trying to in my life. But that's highly related to the second thing that I was talking about working on. Well, first it's highly related to the, yeah, that takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of energy to question everything, to notice patterns, to quiet your mind and look inward and, and to humble yourself and, and ask and admit that you don't know what the F is going on and asking questions about it. So if you also plan on doing this work, I just put that out there. Not you should do it if you, if you feel that you want to. However, it does take a lot of energy. And when you find yourself exhausted at the end of a week, that's why. But that also bleeds into, as I was saying, the second part or the second thing I really learned and worked on, which is for noticing how frustrated it and frustrating it can be to be different from the narrative. And again, I say this sensitively. I know there are a lot more people who are have are way more different, um, and that's great. I think differences are great and should be celebrated. But I recognize that I'm also very privileged and elite in, in many areas, and I don't try to deny that. So with that clause out there, um, you know, I mentioned in some of my earlier videos that I started uh, kind of going online, doing online dating to meet people in areas. I've also gone on different sites like Couchsurfing, which have local events for travelers and people who are just kind of moseying through an area. And as I come back out of my shell after however long I've been kind of, you know, traveling and trying to figure out um, how to architect my best life, I'm noticing that to be a woman who is unmarried, doesn't want children, owns her own business, uh, is focused on things that traditionally in Western culture, only men or mostly men are focused on, um, and who has taken the, 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 the role of, or many of the things that women have been traditionally focused on our culture, not everybody, and saying, you know what, F that ish. I'm a successful businesswoman and that's what I want in my life. And yeah, you know what, I also kind of want to date around. Cool. That is uber intimidating and very hard for other people to adjust to. And rightly so, because they're in the same narrative, meaning the same societal narrative, usually in Western culture. And so I find it very frustrating, uh, the, the converse, some of the conversations and some of the hangouts that I go on not that it's not awesome that these people want to spend time with me and get to know me, but they don't actually want to get to know me. They don't want to get to know me. Let, let's say it like that. They want to get to know this girl who's in these pictures who looks like uh, she's, you know, kind of pretty or decent looking and she doesn't have kids and she's not divorced. So she, I don't know, let's, let's get to know her. They want to get to know that aura, but they don't want to get to know me. Um, and so I'm dealing with that. And I think all of us deal with this, by the way. And I think many of us decide to throw the core of our being away, especially women. But men, I'm not saying you don't go through this and I'm not trying to, uh, men are evil. I don't think that at all. I love men. Men, reach out to me. No. Um, but it's like we hide that. We hide our power to try to uh, fit into the narrative. And I'm just frustrated by that. And I'm I'm over that. So what <clears throat> what I've been doing... I did this just last night. 
I just, I just leave. I'm like, okay, well, this has been great after a drink, but you know what? I got to go. And sometimes the people that I'm with are very offended by that, but it's not meant as an offense. It's I'm, I'm having a conversation with this person. I'm asking them a ton of questions. They're asking me zero questions. Um, they're getting a whole lot out of me and my energy, and I'm not getting a whole lot out of them. Of course, this isn't every single person that I spend time with, uh, but I'm noticing the instances where I'm frustrated and I'm not able or not accepted for who I am, or people are not interested in who I am, and I'm removing myself from those situations and those people. And that has been a lot of very, uh, very hard work. But what I'm hoping to do is to only or try to talk with or spend time with those people who want to know me uh, and not a symbol and not just any person and to kind of uh, st stay away from those who are wafting through. So I'll keep you guys updated on how all of that goes. And I think a large part of it is the final thing that I worked on this week, which is staying centered and going inward, but knowing that I have to go outward. Um, so as I said, I, I know that I possess, and many of us, all of us possess all of the answers we need. We're just not always able to access them. So I've been uh, really, really focusing on my yoga practice and being present for that um, and using those skills to kind of continue to observe myself and go inward and kind of say, hmm, do I like being around this person? No, I'm going to leave. Or, hey, I like being around this person. Let me go the extra mile to uh, get to know them better. So that's on the personal level, but then there are issues, not issues, there are topics that I want to know more about that I'm not yet ready to tap my inner self for, or, or I just haven't cultivated the skills to get there. And I've been working on humbling myself and saying, okay, I want to do that. I want to be brave enough to do that. Sidebar. So I've been obsessed with the show. I know it's an older show, but whatever, Madam Secretary. And I've been obsessed with it this weekend. And what I recognize is I'm obsessed with how powerful of a woman she is in a traditionally male-dominated industry like our government. And I want to be like that. I want to step into that. I know I have the power and, and the ability to, um, to be successful in these realms. And I want to learn more about them. So I started kind of Googling or looking at podcasts or listening to podcasts or reading articles about management styles and, and leadership styles and uh, just how to step into your power and, and reaching out on the internet where there is tons of free, thi or free things. I still have a member uh, membership or a library card for the White Salmon Library using the books there and just starting to consume the information that I need to answer the questions that I want answered to step into my power. And so um, in accordance with that, like I think I mentioned, you know, uh, I've reached out to friends and the, the conversations I'm having with friends anyway, or colleagues, I'm being more inquisitive in those as well. Uh, how are they going about their business? How are they going about learning about how to be a better business person? I talked about Chile, Chile earlier and learning more about that country and living there. So it's just really coming back around to having a belief in myself and a trust in myself and being able to trust myself enough to humble myself to find the answers, whether they be internal or external. And so that was my week this week in Edgewood, just a little week, just a minor week. Next week, I will be back here in Edgewood for another week, which is, which is great. I'm glad that uh, my travel has slowed to this point. And I love being in this house with, you know, it's my friend's energy and they're just wonderful people. Um, I want to thank Hans Adam featuring Snowflake for the music I use in the intro and outro. If you like this video, please, 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 please give it a thumbs up. I want to know this uh, takes, I do all of this by myself, obviously, production, taping, recording, all of it, writing the shows. So the more thumbs up and the more comments I get, the more I know that it matters. And, and I would love to hear comments about anything I said and if it relates to your life or how and how, because uh, this is the conversation I aim to start. It's not just about me telling you what's up. It's also about me understanding if this stuff is happening with you as well. And finally, uh, if you want to get these videos every week, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button below and you will be alerted by YouTube when my shining face comes through. Um, and I think that's it for this week, y'all. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.